Hi, I'm Rich Calgard, publisher of Forbes, and I'm here today at $120 billion multinational giant McKesson, and here to talk with Pat Blake, the executive vice president, technology solutions, and Randy Spratt, who has the interesting dual role of chief information officer and chief technology officer. And we're here to talk as part of our ongoing series, Visionary Leaders Transforming Business. Uh, welcome to the show, gentlemen. Uh, Randy, you hold the dual titles of CTO and and, and CIO, yes. and so when you're talking with Pat, are, are you often talking as the CIO or the CTO? Well, I actually talk to him in both roles. We see these two worlds actually as converging. Uh, the, the tools that are being applied in healthcare today are beginning to shift from on-premises models to, uh, to cloud-based models and to subscription models and to mobile devices. And as that shift takes place, uh, many of Pat's technology businesses are faced with retooling or extending their, their current applications to embrace that. So if I give you an example, uh, today uh, we're looking to take costs out of our business like, like any company out there. Randy's organization has helped us to really amalgamate a lot of our services that normally would reside in each business and to actually pull some of those out of the businesses to gain an economy of scale across the businesses to manage things like infrastructure makes a ton of sense for a company like McKesson. Now we've all read books um, over the last 10 or 15 years that have talked about disruptive technologies. How do the two of you strategize to make sure that you're staying up on top of things, that there isn't some um, technology that's brewing up somewhere or some business model that's brewing up somewhere that could take you by surprise. By networking with my peers and with uh, large-scale CIOs of multinational companies that uh, have already grappled with these same kinds of information-based issues in their own industries, there's a tremendous learning that, that goes on and a tremendous ability to see what's working, what isn't, what's likely to dead end, and what's likely to be mainstream. I think the other thing that you should take a look at is the way that Randy and his function become embedded in the cadence of how we run the business. Embedding the technology function, whether it be the CIO role or the CTO role, in the cadence of our business and operating processes is really what makes this work well and allows us to begin to look down the road and plan for uh, those kinds of technologies where the disruption might be present and how we might be able to leverage that moving forward. Well, as a function of your size and your global footprint, you have operations all around the world, but in the United States, two significant ones here, the headquarters in San Francisco, one in Alpharetta, Georgia, outside of Atlanta. Um, as you put the teams together to work uh, IT into the cadence of the businesses, um, how do you collaborate physically? Do you get together on a scheduled basis to use uh, network technologies like telepresence? How do you, uh, are you able to do it all virtually? Describe how, how, what, what work, how work gets done at McKesson. To get work done at McKesson uh, almost natively requires collaboration. Uh, our, each of our businesses are very strong in their own rights. Each of our businesses has a, a different segment of the market, a different stakeholder that they have relationships with. So for us to be able to establish where there are opportunities for synergy or pooling expertise or technology requires a lot of interaction between the businesses. Uh, we have heavily utilized telepresence. We have telepresence rooms installed in most of, uh, of our facilities. Uh, I think we're at about 35 rooms right now across the United States. And we hold most of our large-scale meetings through telepresence and many of our one-on-one -on -one interactions. I also think it depends on the nature of the meeting. If the meeting is about creating strategy, I don't think anything substitutes being there and having all the appropriate parties present in that room, including uh, the CIO and the CTO offices represented. Uh, once the strategy is actually crafted and it's about thinking of the follow-up, the tracking, the execution, then you see us as a company really leveraging technology for uh, accelerating collaboration. Where do you think management teams go wrong and how do you then dedicatedly try to make sure that that doesn't happen at McKesson. 
Uh, I think we recognize that to solve uh, complex problems, you've got to bring a diverse group of people together, uh, diverse thoughts, opinions, skill sets. And I think as a result of bringing those groups together, comfort in a debate, uh, we typically will arrive at a, a strong set of agreed upon assumptions and go forward steps and strategies.